without the fact that we do have Ed Marvel joining us. So let's have a little mini interview with the uh, the caster of the season himself. Hello, Ed Marvel. So what do you mean, five time caster of the season? <laughs> Goodness me! <laughs> and the second most adorned oh, player in TF2, aren't you? With those like awards. Oh yeah, Highlander many of the season though was my proudest moment. But uh, yeah, that was a really fucked up end to a great game. It was it was fortunate that both the sort of DDoSs or whatever happened on rounds that were already over. That was one uh, nice part of it. But yeah, we got stalked around a couple of servers there and DDoSed. I guess uh, some people were online on Steam or something. But uh, I feel like we were coming back and especially after we got that fifth round, it was yeah, tough my, for them. Like, we could always just run the clock down. My most important question here is, uh, do you think you deserve this win after how Badlands went? Or should it have been a third map? Yeah, I mean, it was really um, a game of two halves. It was... Uh, we were coming back. Like, we tied the game to 4-4 before there was even any question of the server timing out or anything. I feel it was ours for the taking, five minutes left. And even the round that we took on the second server, there was no lag until the very last minute when it was like a scout trying to block against four guys with a medic on the point. Like, I don't think there was any contest there. So absolutely, I think we deserve to win it. But it was a very close game. Like, we we're really bad on Badlands. In practice, we lost 6-1 to uh, Team Colon Slash. But we managed to come good there i think a lot of things in the later middles just started to work for us like we were winning a lot of the middles but then feeling that the later pushes and we're just sort of a little over eager we're trying to play a very aggressive game at times and sometimes that's our undoing as well but hey we're on the upward curve we're still getting better all the time and i'm looking forward to a season in the prem yeah so what do you think was the difference between uh tonight and the last time you faced eShock, which was on the same maps and they absolutely destroyed you on badlands 6-1 and uh, you actually although you had an incredibly close game on snake water last time you met them you did actually lose it to a golden cap so what was the difference between that time and tonight i'm gonna throw my future land teammate of Okje under the bus he was our pocket merc for a week there whenever bunkers was away and I've never seen a pocket more scared of dying in my life. Like uh, a few key moments, I feel like he let us down. But like I say, we've been improving as a team over that whole period as well. So it's like hard to judge. But, but we watched the demos back, and uh, I'm pretty convinced of Octane was a big part of that. But uh, we're going to win Battle Land, don't worry. The my call, team, out. call out. sucks. I'm just and, being real, uh, man. On the subject of Battle Land, you do realize that there is a, a limit for the amount you can take on the plane. How are you going to fit your forehead in there, Admirable? <laughs> it's basically Ryan Airman. What the fuck am I doing playing with them? Stingy bastards. <laughs> yeah, especially after your ego's been inflated with the. Uh, I'm actually with, just going to fill this. it up with, with hot air, me. I'm just going to float <laughs> over across <laughs> the channel. <laughs> He's just going to float. Brilliant. I might leave float alongside for the, the plane. Prevailing winds will be good to go. <laughs> Um, Brilliant. Okay. On a serious note, uh, you showed a lot of aggression on Snake Water, not holding back, not turtling at all, and always repush, uh, exchanging ubers and repushing. Um, we really enjoyed that show, and uh, you showed why you um, picked Snake Water. But come Badlands, and you had some advantages that you didn't push, and you uh, threw away some advantages. Why did that happen? I, I think it felt like you were too passive there and not confident enough. But do you agree? Yeah, everything was really messy from the start. The The first round went really badly for us, and I think that shook us up a little bit. Um, There was a lot of times where we were trying to hold mid. We knew like we had slight advantages, whatever, but we didn't want to commit. We were happy to sit back. Like some situations, we had a sniper and stuff, and I was asking people to spread out a little bit better, but we ended up up on choke on at least two occasions, trying to play the uber game on mid and even though we ubered later we were still already weak and in terrible position and i was getting mad then i just sort of calmed down and um yeah we just sort of brought it back there over the like the mid fights were always going well for us but uh the last pushes we sort of tried to slow it down a little bit we had a an actual strategy believe it or not and we began to implement it and maybe as we got the rounds back pretty quickly there, I feel like 
Um, our opponents, Ashok, started to doubt themselves a little bit. They kept doing the same things in middle as well, and it, like we were just cutting through them, especially in those last few rounds. Like it was the mids weren't even a contest. I feel they should have adapted, especially considering they had that long break to discuss what to do. They did the same thing again on mid, and we came out on top. Yeah, that's what we said as well. I mean, mids were a big problem for them, but last defenses as well, they they never had any proper off classes, and uh, then you had uh, you had pretty easy last pushes. Although at some point in the beginning, Bonkers jumped the wrong side with his Uber and they were too damaged, so uh, Eshop managed to hold sometimes. But still, yeah. with off classes, they could have been much more resilient. I feel like every time we try and rush in on an Uber advantage or a man advantage, it always goes badly. So we just started to slow it down. Even if we lost a few advantages at times, we were just trying to make the right decisions rather than trying to go in and skill it at a disadvantageous position. Just trying to learn as a team. And I think he looked like a very promising upcoming team full of new talent for uh, the new Premiership season in Season 19. Uh, what are your aspirations for the new Prem season that's coming up? Where do you envision yourself ending? Yeah, like we lose a lot of games in practice and uh, I always think that's a good thing because that's how you learn. But like the team spirit is good right now and we've got bunkers back and like these Polish guys are learning so fast. Formello I think is already a pretty incredible roamer. He's one to watch for this season. Uh, I think we could definitely contest the playoffs. Let's say the fourth spot, like I'm going to give a lot of credit to BK main call and maybe 425 or GG well played, but we're going to try and squeeze in there as our goal for the season and then like if we keep progressing like this uh sure we're going all the way that's what you want to hear baby we're going for gold motherfuckers <laughs> yeah you're gonna knock main call off that top spot easily i can see you guys improving to that point they should be scared quaking in their boots i can hear was boots quaking from here yeah well i really wanted to I was at the start of the season I wasn't going to play at all and then I was just talking to Walters one day and he was like oh I can't find a team man and I always wanted to play with Walt again so we looked at the you know the recruitment section in ETFL and started making like a little fantasy team and it's like yeah it was like Jenny and Samir oh and look there's Formello and Bunkers I just seen them play in that Nations game we cast it feeling and I was like yeah we should try and get these guys I wanted uh, to uh, mention that yeah you didn't even know the Polish guys before that and uh, I told you they were really good and uh... Yeah, you're a believer now, a Polish believer. Yeah, well, I knew problem from uh, Highlander or playing against him anyway, but like, yeah, they're, they're a little quiet and mumble at the minute. We're trying to bring them out of their shells and uh, I'm probably ordering them around a lot, but they're starting are, to make plays are they, themselves they, and decisions. They show, a lot of, they, show, they show a lot of aggression and synergy, we have to say, and I think that made a big difference in this game. The the soldiers making space and the scouts following up and compared to the French soldiers being a bit too passive and going for fricks. Yeah, like that's our whole game, you know, we're trying to push in together making that space because our scouts are awesome and our heavies can do a lot of damage so it's a pretty powerful combination if we hit our timings right, it's just um, working on that and knowing when is enough, like when we've gained enough territory just to hold back on the aggression, it's like little bursts of aggression to get you the territory, get you control, get you the point. And then trying to nail those last pushes, but I felt good on Snakewater. Uh, Badlands was a bit shaky, but we got there in the end. Yeah, well played, and uh, congratulations to the Premiership qualification. Yeah, congrats to Admirable and the rest of Cool Clan for securing their spot in the Premiership division. They will be going into the Premiership Season 19 along with BK who also secured their spot in these playoffs. Unfortunately, Eshock and TC both go down into Div 1 which will be a very competitive Div 1. Well worth watching if, uh, if some of those games are casted as well. So thank you for sticking with us. We did have some technical difficulties just at the end there because of some idiots DDoSing. But uh, I hope it wasn't too disruptive and there were some brilliant games going on just then. So uh, thank you for sticking with us. I've been Sasha with me on the microphone has been feeling and Sim has been on the camera. Thanks Admirable for doing a little interview as well. Thanks for casting guys.